pyjamas. <laughs> What's this, Bob? It's five o'clock in the morning. What are you doing up? I couldn't sleep, Dad. Dictionary? You reading the dictionary? You're looking up bad words. There ain't any bad words. This is the new dictionary. Quite right, Bob. Only good news in the papers and good words in the dictionary. We're living in great times, Bob. What's this, schoolwork? Oh, nothing, Dad. Icinth, Icinth, Icinth. Uh, you've written Icinth about a thousand times. You've been misbehaving in biology. No, Dad. You've written my place. Icinth, Bob, Icinth, Bob. I think you are so... What's that word? Bountiful? Beautiful. I think you are so beautiful, every time I see you, I get a frog in my throat. <laughs> my friends can laugh, but I don't care, as long as Iacinth is there. I wish we could fly up in the air and not come down anywhere. Oh, it's poetry. <laughs> they make you learn poetry? Sort of. Oh, it used to embarrass me what we had to learn. Lord Byro, Coralidge, <laughs> Pam Ayers. <laughs> doing down here? I thought we had burglars. Please, grand burglars. This is 1999. Everyone's got enough of everything. Burglars have been bunged in the bin liners of history. Pritchard with my pencil. Pritchard is sick. It's only just gone five o'clock. And what does our beloved chairman say about getting up early? Oh, something, I'm sure, because it's always going on. Let me remind you, Grand, the thoughts of Chairman Hoskins, 101. Mm. Early to bed, early to rise, makes a man healthy, wealthy and saves electricity. <laughs> But you've got the electric light on. A light bulb has a limited life. If we don't have it on, it might give out before we've used it. <laughs> I'll have scrambled egg, please, Gran. How about you, Bob? I'm not hungry. Oh, go on. Look, Albanian dried egg. Yum, yum. <laughs> Pure as the driven snow. Why is it white? Oh, well, obvious. All the yolks go to the party members. <laughs> Quite right, too. I wish you was a party member, Dad. Case in point, Bob. A little bird told me that in a not too distant future, someone, not a million miles away from here, is in line for a you-know-what. Do I make myself clear? No. Oh, Bob. <laughs> well, look at it this way. At the annual meeting of the 44th Allotment Brigade, I will be making the keynote address. Four hours of wit and wisdom on the subject of vegetables. Four hours? Yeah, well, I had to cut it down. <laughs> but, Comrade Scrivener will be impressed, wheels will turn, and who knows, a party card, and all that entails. Eggs with yolks, discount manure, <laughs> free bicycle parking, and a clockwork vacuum cleaner. <laughs> and because your mother is the wife of a party member, she will not have to work on the railways at night. Right. She'll work on the railways during the day. <laughs> we get tickets for the ballet. Oh, I could take icing. Mm, oh. Take a whole bunch of icings. You could present them to Chairman Hoskins and his beautiful wife, Vanessa. Oh dear, I better feed the dog. He'll got all the good out of that brick I gave him. <laughs> Who's I, a sin? No one. Ah, you're growing up so fast. Oh, rain. <laughs> yeah, where you going? Uh, chess club. What's that? The dog's down a dump. You don't want to go to chess club. I'll catch you up. Yeah, that's what you said yesterday and you never did. Here, chess club spiders. I don't know where you're going. Awesome. 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 Now, as soon as I've done a bit about the potatoes, Clifford, I will say, on the allotments this year, we grew exactly the same amount of potatoes as we did last year. And we intend to do exactly the same again next year. And to make this easier to understand, I have illustrated it in graphic form, e.g. a graph. And then <laughs> you hold up the graph. It's a straight line. <laughs> of course it's a straight line. Well, it doesn't go up and down. It's not very interesting. It's not supposed to be interesting, it's facts. Why don't you hold it up like that and say things are improving? <laughs> that is manipulation, Clifford. Now, as soon as I mention root crops, you applaud spontaneously. And then, 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 then you get up and I applaud you. You applaud me and I applaud you. What for? 
Well, that's what they do in Russia. In Russia, the men get drunk and kiss each other. <laughs> that's a good point, Clifford. I will give Comrade Scrivener a peck. I'll pop it in between the leeks and the carrots. <laughs> I'm still applauding. No, 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 you stop when Comrade Scrivener stops. Oh. Now, how were we for carrots this year? Lovely and juicy. The carrot fly got the lot. <laughs> oh, I'll pass on quickly to parsnips. The uh, carrot fly got them as well. <laughs> oh, why did you eat the parsnips? I'd finish with the carrots. <laughs> I threw this parsnip. It was dawn before it satisfied me. <laughs> now you say there's no record anything. It was a record year for carrot fly. <laughs> you taking them... Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, Cliff, I'm sorry. I'm under very great strain. I was up all night. Well, you must remember, I've got a total disability pension. I'm working for my party membership with one arm tied behind my back. Would you like me to stir your tea for you? Thank you, Clifford. <laughs> Not with a rhubarb. Now, how would I go about getting a total disability pension? Oh, no, you don't go about it, Cliff. Some are called, some are not. But... <laughs> Before the glorious liberation of 1989, I was a fascist hyena. An officer? No, assistant manager in the Naffy stores at Uxbridge. <laughs> we had an explosion one night in a bottled goods store. They called 20 ambulances before they realised it was tomato ketchup. <laughs> was it a bomb? No, no, worse. Fermenting gherkins. <laughs> the sandwich spread in three parishes. I was in deep shock. They found me giving mouth to mouth to a fire extinguisher. <laughs> I didn't know you were a hero. No, oh, I can't deny it. Anyway, let's not talk about me. Now, when I finish, I want a standing ovation. Ten minutes should be reasonable. And then you shout encore. You're not going to do the whole thing again, are you? No, 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 I shall speak from the art then. Where is it? Oh, here we are. This happy breed of men, this little world, this precious stone set in a deep red sea, this blessed plot, this earth, this USSR GB. Shakespeare. Yeah. He was a Russian, you know. Hello, Mrs. F. Hello. What's the matter? I put a whole week's meat ration in there. I've turned this round and round, but nothing's coming out. <laughs> There's not enough. You've got to be pushing down with the next bit. There isn't a next bit. <laughs> not till next week. I can't live this here all day. <laughs> well, mince up some newspaper to push it through. Oh, you're a clever lad, Cliff. <laughs> I don't know why Red keeps saying otherwise. Where is he? Oh, he's in the front room, learning mm. to play the red flag on his Jewish harp. <laughs> oh. Do you think you could look after these for me? Oh, what is it? Well, that one's parsnip and that one's carrot. Oh, wine! Well... Not vodka. Well, put it like this, a drop of that in your radiator and nothing's going to freeze up. <laughs> you could be sent to Milton Keynes for ten years. <laughs> well, they can't send us all to Milton Keynes. And anyway, it's got mineral water on the bottle. Oh, uh, could I have a little taste? Yeah, of course you can. <laughs> a nip in the kitchen. Oh, just like the good old days. You're not allowed to say the good old days. Oh, well, it reminds me of Christmas. Oskinmas. <laughs> Oskinmas? Not the same, is it? No. Oh, I can remember when we had beautiful Christmas trees with 